Okay, we are out at 321 Hillcroft. So this is the actual house, but I'll show you the rest of the neighborhood. It's an interesting neighborhood because you have these new builds that are beautiful. And they're kind of built back into an older neighborhood. Uh, the neighborhood is fine safety-wise by the looks of it, but it doesn't have an HOA. So you have interesting things like RVs and chickens and goats and ducks and things like that are options. Um, so just if you're looking for that lack of an HOA, this is it. Looks beautiful. Pretty roof. Your front side entry here. Garage. It's quiet over here, which is beautiful. Beautiful wood door. Probably could use a coat of paint, but that's okay. We're gonna go in to the front door and you have a cute little entryway here. Beautiful light fixtures throughout the home. These beautiful wood floors. More of like a medium tone throughout the living area. So you have here to the right, um, a study, formal dining, if you wanted to use it for your therapy room. It does not have doors. It has some um, can lighting, nice tall ceilings, front window out to the front. And we're gonna walk in and we'll just do a quick through, but here's your living space. We're gonna go ahead and look at the two bedrooms. So bedroom one is here. Closet, I'm gonna hurry up because the homeowner's coming in, so. Hi! I'm looking right now. Oh. I'm just doing a video. Oh. Kendall's mom and dad. Okay, go ahead. Well, she told me she'd get me whatever. But anything that refrigerator room. Okay. Get it. All right. All right. I guess well, we don't think I'll have to throw away because I don't think it'll last if you And your second kid's room. So it's nice. It's got a split floor plan. So the master and the living's on the other side. And you have the two kids' bedrooms over here. They both have nice large closets, ceiling fans. And then what they've done is they've come in with all the darker wood here for the kids' rooms. Same wood. They just laid it in a different direction and went with a darker tone on it. I do like this little nook here for storage for the kids' side. And it's a beautiful bathroom. The finish out on the home is beautiful. So one kid room towards the front, one in the back. Sorry, trying to not make you sick, but <laughs> fast turn. Uh, this beam is beautiful in the living space too. So cute kitchen island, very open concept, pretty common. Again, great fixtures. Little eat-in kitchen area here with a window to the back, which is nice. So you have the sunroom in between the backyard and the living space and it is awesome. Doggy door there. Three windows, beautiful ceiling with some can lighting. Very, very cute. Cute space. Doggy door on the back door, and this yard is just amazing. So you have no HOA restrictions. You have a great concrete pad. It's not covered, but that is an easy fix. It's quiet. Great trees. Sorry. I'm just doing a video. Come here. Come here. Oh, you can let him go. Oh, I got a cattle dog. It's okay. So here's the master. 
Great floors. Great ceiling fan. Can lightings. Good size uh, master bedroom. Big enough for a king. Beautiful tile floors in the master bath. Huge shower. Great tub. The window. The shower is great though. Look at this. It's a very big shower. Got a built in bench here. Beautiful. Big closet, master closet. I love the dresser. The dresser is cute. I don't think it stays though, but great closet. Again, your darker wood floors here in the master. So you have a little potty nook here with a cabinet. And then you have dual sinks here with drawers in between. You turn off some lights. No, sir, you're fine. I'm almost done. No, you're not. No, wait just right around the corner, so you ain't. 